All right, guys, today we have on the table, we have two of the low C mass cars. I have the Bass Pro and I have the Lucas Oil. And I also have two other little projects I'm working on here. All pretty much all the low C's on the table, guys. Let's go ahead and get into a quick unboxing and see what these two vehicles look like. All right, guys, something I like that low C did with this, guys. So once you pull the sleeve off, you do see the car here with the box. I do like the window. For me, it just kind of like took me back to when I first got into Howdy, my first nitro car, which is like my second vehicle. It's just like this. See the car inside and a nice window. You can look at it, kind of like, like some eye candy type of situation. So I definitely like this new this touch here, guys. To me, back into again, the first time I got back into hobby. So I'm definitely liking just the presentation so far. Definitely loving the colors that the car has coming through the box. So let's go ahead against the box and see what this car looks like. All right, guys. So take your eyes off the stand. So once you pull it out of the box, this is what you see, guys. Again, it's like it's sitting on the bank, taking a turn at an angle. Right, that's why snazz cars they take some pretty steep angles when they the ovals again this is what it looks like pretty secured inside definitely love the graphics the detail of these vehicles so i got a toyota and i got the chevy i may get a few more to be honest with you but we'll see how this goes all right so next one let's get out of the box guys and this might take some time but just taking a, a moment to appreciate just the packaging just the way the car looks the graphics the details as you get into it all right, guys, so here we go. So, right off the bat, you have a manual, guys. You have a 112 scale manual for the all wheel drive on NASCAR RC uh, racer. Um, off the back of the manual, you get an optional little pamphlet here. It uh, shows you part numbers and everything you would need. And the back with optional parts as well, with the part numbers on the back. All right. And as this truly ready to run vehicle, comes with four double A's, which will go into the bottom of your SLT2 uh, transmitter. This is one you get with like um, on a type from Groms and Mojave Groms, stuff like that. Um, foam steering wheel, proportional trigger and steering. You have your LED here indicator um, for your power and stuff like that. You have your steering, steering trim and steering rate to turn down or up. And the back also has 50. 150 75% throttle, and then your steering reverse and your power button back here. If you were to give this vehicle to a younger kid to drive, you could turn it down to like 50% and let them, you know, get a feel for it, or even for you as an adult as well. The battery goes in the bottom, and you're pretty much set to go with the SLT2. Um, also comes with your charger, guys, a little um, USB also there, charger, cable, pretty much gets you everything completely ready to run. Has like a little uh, vine plug. Um, also comes with a sticker, low C, uh, racing inspired. Um, and that's basically for both of them from the same setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you one of the cars and the body and stuff like that. So get a camera set up for you guys and get you guys another look at this vehicle. All right, so let's look at the outside of this vehicle, guys. So here we go. This to me is my favorite um, color scheme for the NASCAR series and the low C mini NASCARs. Just love the colors that's just popping. Um, just wanna give you a quick little look of it. There's a Toyota here. Has the splitter within the bottom of it. Bottom of the chassis, you have engraved low C racing inspired on both sides. Go diffuser in the back. Again, pretty good. I love the color on this guy. You have your little fin here on the side, left corner here, and the top two here as well. This side here is smooth. You can see that. All right. And then have the other one that's pretty much open to bring it up to show you guys have your a g2 smart 1400 milliamp battery here um seems like a same motor from the um groms series it's a fan here i believe that uh the two-in-one esc does look different i believe you're able to buy me bind this to your spectrum radio um I can put a picture up they are different they do look different as well just silver up front here again this pretty much seems to be the same Looks like a Mojave Grom, uh, Typhon Grom, whatever it's you see here. But again, again, it's extended for sure. But definitely see some, some similarities within the platforms. Um, 
There's your oil flow shocks up front, adjustable as well. The tires seem pretty decent. I think it has a foam in there as well. Foam bumper, you can split it right here. You guys around. The wheels do have some play in it. Let's see. Okay. Side view. Eagle. Goodyear tires. Alright. Bring out to the back. All full shocks as well. Um, camber and tow. Uh, all that stuff seems to be fixed from what I can see at the moment. In the rear. Um, the front as well. That is fixed also. But you can also, I believe you get those um, upgraded parts that will have adjustability points on them as well. Motor mount in the back. I mean, uh, yeah, body mount in the back and the front. Okay, just give me a quick little overview, guys. You've probably seen a bunch of these already online, but for those of you watching my video for the first time and seeing one for the first time, uh, try to give you as much information as well. Okay? That's what it looks like on the bottom. Okay? Let me get the Mojave ground and show you that the ESCs are definitely different from what I can see. All right, so again, this is my Mojave ROM. You guys can see the receiver here. Uh, there you go, zoom in. This is a 2625 um, RX 2S. And then you have here for the Spectrum. Uh, let me go up top. This is a 3125 RX. So I think that's for me, I can see a difference as far as electronics within the two. Uh, maybe the servo is different, I'm not too sure, but definitely the uh, ES, the 2-in-1 ESC definitely looks to be different. So again, just, just doing a quick unboxing, I got nothing too crazy. Um, I'm trying I'm try to get a first run video here in the next day or two. Um, but I definitely was able to get my hands on some low C uh, NASCARs. It's one of the cars I was definitely waiting on getting. So it's finally here. Um, I have my son and I go out there and uh, do some little laps with them. Um, we'll see how to go as far as speed wise. I mean, I'll definitely keep one stock, um, but I may uh, make mine brushless um, just for a little more speed. So we'll see, guys. But definitely, when I get out there, stock form, son and I go have some fun like we did the Mojave's and you know, just rock out with it and see how it goes. And again, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.